Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Surprise! Okay, so I finally found like an outfit that goes with this hair, thank God, cause like this hair is so hard to dress and I love it so much. Um, but you guys, I am so excited for today's video. Today, I, I barely ever do these and I feel like I have so many little like products and collections in my studio that I kind of feel iffy about and I kind of want to like do a, a little makeup haul. Do like a little like makeup, like should you or should you not? Or what, you know, what is the tea? What is going on with this product? Like, should you guys get it? So I feel like today to kind of spice things up and change things up a little bit, Let's go ahead and do a little makeup haul and kind of like talk about it, see what I like about it. Is it worth your money? Is it not? Right now we live in a time where there's just so much makeup and there's so many options when it comes to like brands and what they do and what they release and is this nonsense? Is it not? Is it expensive? And what it's not? Um, I truly think it's important to really save your money because especially in a time like this, you guys, like we want to save our money a little bit, right? So in the meantime, you guys, thank you everyone that has been following my Amazon live page. I'm so excited for my live videos coming up very soon. Early as next week, I will be sending out um, topics of my lives that I cannot wait to share with you guys on that site. So if, in order to do that, I really, really appreciate it if you guys go over to the link on the bottom of this video and go ahead and hit follow on the Amazon link. Please, please, please. I love you guys so much and I wanna see you guys on that platform as well. As I do very behind the scene things, I wanna show off a lot of things. For example, I will be showing you guys how to build a studio through Amazon because my whole studio, this amazing lighting, the amazing tables and cameras and effects and everything is off Amazon. So if you guys wanna do things like that with me, jump over to the Amazon Live and I wanna see you guys on that side. Now, you guys, welcome to Kimura Black's haul. I'm gonna keep it so legit. I'm gonna keep it so real up in this bitch because I have a lot of things in this in this studio that I wanna share with you guys. I've not talked about, I've not done reviews, but I have been using some of them, I've been loving them, and I just think there are a lot of must have products that you guys need. Okay, so first off you guys, we have the iconic shape shifters. Now you guys probably have seen this all over Instagram. You guys have probably seen this floating on a couple of influencer pages. Now, these are two of my really good friends. I'm obsessed with Cole's World and Zachary Vang. I'm such a big fan of them because not only that, they are super talented, they're super amazing makeup artists, and they're really truly, they do hone into what they do. This is the prime example of what I mean by, instead of using infamous people because they love makeup, actually use makeup artists to, to send out products. This is the perfect example of what I'm talking about when it comes to selling makeup, is you guys wanna trust makeup artists, not people that look good in makeup. Do you guys get what I'm saying? No tea, no shade, I'm just saying, I feel like for me as a consumer, I would buy something because I know they are a makeup artist and they know what I like. So they came out with this. First of all, congratulations to Coles and Zachary for this collaboration it would be perfect. Um, I'm obsessed with Be Perfect. I do have a code with Be Perfect. So right now, if you guys wanna use my code Kimura, it's gonna be listed right here. Um, you guys can knock off money on anything Be Perfect, including this as well. So first, this is a magnet. Um, it's like a magnet kind of moment. Like I love the fact that they did that. It's kind of cool, right? So I actually have these on my face right now. As you guys can see here, the highlight, the bronzing, the sculpting, this is like all this. I can tell you guys right now, as much as I've used this, you guys, I have been literally digging my brush into these products. I love all the shades, as sculpting, highlighting. These colors right here are so phenomenal. I mean, it's a highlight color, but why not have it with this sculpting color? But I obsess with this shade right here. I actually use this shade for my nose. I use these on my cheeks, and I barely ever touch this unless I want to do like a really cut crease, but I'm obsessed with this palette. I think it's definitely a must, but I think when it comes to this palette, you guys, I think it's one of those palettes where it looks really good on someone that's kind of tan. I think someone that has more of a yellow undertone that's kind of more bronzy. I don't see this really working for all skin tone. I mean, I can someone please prove me fucking wrong because let me tell you something, when people come up with collections, I wanna see what kind of person that's gonna wear this. I wanna see what kind of person that's going to understand how to wear these shades. Because when you put product out, people tend to kind of think, oh, that might look good on me. And then when they go buy it, they waste their money. It doesn't work, right? So I truly think this is for someone that's kind of more on the bronze side, the tanning side. I don't think this is, sorry, that's my husband. 
texting me, but I'm unavailable right now. But I just don't think this is someone that's more on the cool tone. Um, I just don't really see it. I don't I don't know. Maybe they will come out with the video or uh, get ready with me on showing this on all skin tone. But as of just looking at this, this is a very specific person. It's not worldwide range. Um, also, this is the Zachary side. So Zachary came out with four different little blush moments. Um, highlighters, so you can really do anything with this. I love this. Okay, let me show you guys what this looks like. It's literally, I love the middle, and what I do is, I just like, see that? It just kind of like, gives you like this nice little like, blush moment. I just love this. I think it's a cute little blush moment. I think it's one of those things where like, do you need it? I think so, because I've never seen a blush like this. I've never seen these shades all together. I'm a little terrified of the shimmers, to be honest. I would never touch this side, it's just, a personal thing um, but like I said I do love this I think out of the two I love this the most but yeah congratulations to Zach and Cole for that collaboration like I said we always need new sculpting I just would love to see it on someone that's not as warm as me you know all right you guys so now in the studio Jeffrey did send over the recent collection now this is Star Ranch. So first of all, he restocked the Fuck Proof Mascara. I'm obsessed with Fuck Proof Mascara. I think it's one of the best mascaras. And here's the thing, I'm gonna keep it so 100. There's so many fucking mascaras in the world. Like, I mean, I right now I use, what is this one? See, I don't even know which one. I use, I guess I use Rockin's Cosmetics. I love a Huda Beauty Moments. But yeah, like when it comes to mascara, you know what I look into a mascara? What I look in a good mascara is the brush. I don't really care about waterproof. I don't care about how black it is. I don't care, girl. You can't tell me a mascara is more blacker than the regular black version. You can't tell me. You're not gonna sit here and tell me like this is blacker. Now, if you can tell me, tell me in the comments down below. But I'm just saying, as of, if I see you, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, are you wearing like the black, 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 black extreme mascara? Like it's like $3 more? Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things where like, mm, whatever. Now, why I like the Fuck Proof Mascara is the actual brush. I love a mascara um, that has an amazing brush. And let me tell you why. I don't have lashes. You can't curl my lashes. I have been, I've got my makeup done by a lot of people and they can never curl my lashes. And if I can, if you can curl my lashes, come right over. But you can't curl my lashes if my life depended on it. Now, when it comes to the brush, I love the brush. I think the brush fits the perfect normal, like, lash ever like i know there's a lot of people that have long lashes but like for the people that have no lashes and they're just little straight things i think this is a really good mascara i think it fits the eye really well like right now like i said i'm wearing this one called rockums and even this brush is one of my favorites because it's so tiny it literally gets you know it gets the job done like i said when it comes to mascara that field i'm not the expert at it that being said let's go ahead and move on to the star ranch palette this is Star Ranch. Um, he's really, really excited that he lives in Wyoming. I love the fact that he loves that. I would never live in the country. I just won't get along with anyone and I won't get along with myself living there. I think I would kill myself because I need people. But I love the fact that Jeffrey loves it there and it's really nice and I'm sure it's really peaceful, uh, peaceful for him. And it's, you know, sometimes we have to take those extra steps as human beings to really make decisions in our lives, to really take control of our lives, to put ourselves at peace. Because sometimes like myself, you you know, I am going through a lot of things internally, personally, like you guys will not know. I mean, maybe you guys will know in the future. Let's just say I've had a wall up for a long time and the wall is ready to come down. Um, so I really do look up to him in that aspect. But let's get into the palette, you guys. Now, this is the palette. We love this palette. Okay, so there's this is the palette that I probably barely will pick up um, just because it's a lot of frost for me. Um, I think the palette overall really, really, it, it really does showcase Star Ranch. It really does put you in that ranch vibe. I mean, blue denim and blue and little green and lots of browns. But for me as an everyday person, I think I would barely touch this palette. You know what it is, what I like about it is that it's a tiny palette that you're not really missing much. And it's for like a really particular person. It's for people that are collectors and love this shade of color. I just feel like for me, like, I don't really wear frost and I think frost terrifies me and I just don't wear them. I think the palette's beautiful. I actually really want to try this color called Wyoming um, because I love a red brown. Like I would buy any palette with a red brown in it. Like if it has a red undertone brown, like I'm obsessed. So that's the Star Ranch palette. 
Now we do have the mirrors. I <laughs> he is going nuts with the mirrors. Like I I I can't even keep up with the mirrors. I actually love this. Like I think this is so iconic. I love it. I think it's obnoxious as fuck. I think this is one of those fucking mirrors where you just I'm getting fucking ready. You know, I'm getting fucking ready. Don't fucking talk to me. So if you guys are collectors, that's definitely a collector's piece. Now, I do have another thing. I do have the iconic uh, star mirror. I think this is genius. I have been waiting for a mirror that has lighting forever. Now, you guys know I am a Ricky Ricky fanatic. I love Ricky Ricky. Like, they send over mirrors all the time for me. And it's just, this is like a showgirl mirror. So, it's really cool to see a brand that comes out with this product. Now, what I really do love the most is not only you can charge your phone. I've tried it. It works. It legit works. Um, but I love the fact that this is magnetic. Like, I love that because... I don't have time to sit there and screw and you can just take it off. It's easy to pack go like this. I'm about to take it to Miami very soon with me. It's just so like practical. Like look at it. Work. I love that. So in the Jeffree Star cosmetic world, they have a lot of cute little things. I'm just waiting for my motherfucking collab. Like where the fuck is my palette? Cause I'm ready to make a fucking iconic. I'm, a, I'm ready to make a fucking palette that's iconic girl. Get motherfucking ready. Bitch. I don't know why I said all that. I'm just really feeling myself right now. Okay, you guys, now we do have my babies over there at Morphe. They sent over these new lip shades. Now, these lip shades, first of all, hi eyeliner. I love this little PR moment. I think I should should I um emoji down in the comments below, you guys? Should I remake this liner? Hashtag liner. I will definitely remake this because I used to wear liner like this back in the day before shit, y'all. These kids are fucking thinking they made this shit up. I used to wear liner like this like literally eight years ago at the Mac store. So hashtag liner if you guys want me to do something cool like this. So this is the Morphe, ma Morphe mascara again. Morphe mascara and we have a make it big liner. So let me know if you guys want me to do something with that. Um, but let's talk about the lips. So right now these are the plumping lip gloss. So you guys know I love a good plumper and i just think like lip injections have been around forever and i think a lot of brands are jumping on the lip plump because we all love a big call it the instagram lip it's just one of those lips where like people want i mean i want it i mean how many syringes do i have in my lip now to have these lip plumpers i am actually very surprised morphe doesn't have lip plumpers and they actually have so many different colors like look at this beautiful nude like i'm so excited about this i wonder i want to know how much it plumps so i will definitely get back to you guys with this as i put it on because i feel like lip plumpers only work when it's like by itself like you can't really put lipstick and put that that's kind of dumb you know what i mean like that's stupid you want to put a gloss not no lip plumper on top now i i don't you know i just don't think people do that so if you guys want to shop at morphe you guys can definitely use my kokimura it does save money off at the end all right, you guys, so we have more products in store. Now, these came in the mail the other day, and these are the Urban Decay lipsticks. Now, these lipsticks are gorge. They are, these are a mixture of textures. So we have mattes, we have cream, we have shine. And you guys know, if you guys follow me, I'm barely a lipstick person. Like, I just don't. Lipsticks aren't like my go-to to purchase to do lips. I prefer liquid lipstick, to be honest honest i think liquid lipstick we're just we're just that advanced like we're just so advanced that we don't have time for lipstick girl like it's i just think it's so like almost tired i just think when it comes to lipstick these i mean these are gorgeous actually like i think these are stunning i love them i just think if you guys obviously love lipstick these will be a uh, a lane that you guys like to be in so this one's called what's your sign and then this one's like for example let's look at this one so it's all like these really pretty nude i mean you know what it is by looking at this collection i think about like mac you know how they come up with so many different type like textures in the same kind of like color format of like nudes so this one's called love trap it's a shine um, and it's like I said, it's just these are like a really update So if you guys are looking to update some lipstick urban decay has these and I'm sure you can get them now I don't have a code with urban decay So I can't help you guys save money with that. Like I said, these are just it's really like an update You know, I I do I do like them I just don't think naturally when I get into makeup when I get into glam I don't naturally go to a actual lipstick. That's just my thing. I just don't. So if mentally, if I can train myself to go into a lipstick, then I would definitely pick it up. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of Urban Decay. I think, you know, when it comes to Urban Decay, they have tons of products that work really well. I just don't go to lipsticks. It's just not one of those things that I naturally 
pick up you know last but not least you guys know this has been floating around instagram this is the batty b lookbook i mean lash book i'm sorry lash book um batty b has this incredible book i want to say it's for like 52 dollars. i want to say 52 dollars. i could be wrong but i know it's in the 50s um where you can purchase the lash book off their website um and it comes with 10 pairs of lashes so that means 10 20 30 Basically, you're getting a lash really cheap for $52 for all these lashes. I don't even know the math, to be honest, because I, you know, I don't do math. But I do love this. I think this is an incredible way to kind of experience what kind of lash you guys want. I think it's an incredible way to kind of experience the brand. I think every brand should have a lash book. I think it's very important because I used to buy lashes, and when I get these lashes, I hate them. So why, why not spend less, get more, and know what you like so you can buy the one that you like? There's a little selling technique for you brands out there that are slow on your sales. I just think lash books are really smart. People love them. You can travel with them. You can save them and all that. So if you guys want to shop Batty B lashes, you guys can definitely use my code Kimora. It does save money off at the end for every single thing on Batty B. Save some money. Now, I actually like doing hauls. I think hauls are really fun. And, you know, you guys really do get to experience my thoughts and opinions about these brands and what it is, you know, because it's really different when you wear them. And I think sometimes just talking about it can really influence someone to get it or not, you know. And like I said, I'm not a CEO of anything. I just, I'm a consumer like you guys. And I like to know that my money is getting its money's worth. I'm just saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little video. Like, like let me know if I should do more. Like, I kind of want to do more. Here's the important part. At the link below, Amazon Live, the goal is a thousand followers okay right now i'm about 200 i know i'm just i i want to get followers because i have so many things coming up on amazon live that i'm excited about so the only way to know is if you guys follow this link at the bottom of this video please follow all you gotta do is click it and follow that is it it's not fucking hard it's not fucking hard so this will be one of the lives you guys where i teach you guys how to store and organize your makeup you know like i show you guys all my favorite links on what i do and how much money i spend i really spend nothing it's like cheap ways to organize makeup and i am obsessed with the way i organize my makeup in my studio and i want to share that with you guys so this is a prime example of kimura's lash book so this is something that i'm very proud of i get a lot of compliments and a lot of like where did you get that um, and just things like that. And I just want to give you guys the spiel and conversations about how I organize through Amazon and what I purchase and all that. You guys, we have reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul, my little tiny little haul moment. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for viewing me. Thank you for subscribing. I love y'all. And thank you to everyone that has been with me from the beginning. I love you guys so much. You guys are literally why I do this. Um, and other than that, hashtag liner. If you guys want me to redo something cool with the liner. I haven't done a video like that. I love you and I will see you guys in a few days.